racist situation in Queens. Police, police surveillance outside their home has now become a way of life for a Guyanese family. They have been threatened and harassed, garbage dumped on their property, people urinating in their front yard in a neighborhood infamous for racism. The Hamilton Beach section of Howard Beach, and that's where Island News reporter Jim Dolan is with the story. Jim? Bill, that threat police are out in front of Chris Goodman's home 24 hours a day protecting him and his family now, although we should point out that the neighbors here say this has nothing at all to do with race. They admit they are upset about the construction of Chris Goodman, the only African-American who lives in this neighborhood, is doing on his property, and that may be true. It may have nothing to do with race. What we know for sure is that a man who lives in this house right here was arrested recently for yelling racial slurs and making threats with a baseball bat. Chris Gundin couldn't believe what he was hearing from his neighbor. He started yelling racial slurs to me, you effing this and um, sick and tired of this, be uh, the defense and all these other issues. And so I was trying to figure out from him what really it is that I can do, because I can't change the color of my skin or change the fence. Gundin bought his home in Howard Beach about 17 months ago and claimed the harassment started immediately. But on a recent night, it really boiled over. He proceeded to run in, grab a baseball bat, running out, calling you at I'm going to kill every one of you. 18-year-old Michael Hussey, who lives next door, was arrested and charged with several hate crimes. He was not taking visitors today, but neighbors who did not want to be identified said... It has nothing to do with the color of the man's skin. Absolutely nothing. It's just his arrogance. It's like, I'm going to do what I want to do. C could you come out and talk with us? You don't want to. I'm just telling you what the facts are. And that's it's his arrogance? That's what you said? Yeah, it's like he's defying everybody. He's going to do what he wants to do. Well, it's his property. Why shouldn't he do what he wants to do? And the city councilman seemed to blame Gundin for the baseball bat attack. And he'd done everything is up to code. Nobody would have a problem with it, just like these people have it. But we have that. Uh, we have so a what he did on the property that he got attacked with a baseball bat? That's right. Meanwhile, Gundin's 14-year-old daughter, well, she's learned a lot at Howard Beach. I didn't think that anything like that really, like, any uh, racism actually existed still. I thought it was just, um... Sort of history. Yeah, history, basically. Well, Gundin is still trying to teach his young daughter. He says he has no intention of leaving. He wants to finish the work on his house. He hopes his neighbors adjust. Reporting live from Howard Beach, Jim Dolan, Channel 7, Iowa State. Jim, thank you. Now to the...